I finally got all my veggies prepped and we're going to add all these vegetables to the clam juice that we just strained out of the clam chowder, uh, out of the can of clams. So you want to make sure that the uh, vegetables are completely submerged in the fluid and these are, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on medium and we're going to be cooking this for uh, we're gonna cook this until the vegetables are tender. Since we have potatoes in here, I think it'll be at least five minutes and probably less than 10. So I'll be keeping an eye on that while we get the next part started. I added a lid to the uh, clam juice and vegetables while they're softening. And in this pot, I'm melting three quarters cup of butter. I'm going, as soon as it's melted, I'm gonna add three quarters cup of flour and I'm gonna cook it for one minute. So I'm using a gravy whisk to stir the butter and the flour together. It's been cooking for about a minute. So now I'm going to slowly add the milk, or I'm sorry, the half and half mixture to the butter and the flour. And I'm gonna give that a good stirring and we're gonna cook this on low heat until it starts to thicken. Now I'm gonna check on our vegetables that are here in the pot, cooking with clam juice. I'm gonna give them a stir. I can tell already that the potatoes are still hard, so I'm just gonna add the lid back. Stir your cream sauce every minute or so to uh, make sure that you're not getting any clumping. It should be smooth. And uh, another thing is to keep the temperature on low to medium low. I'm gonna check the potatoes to see if they're ready yet. And how I do that is I'm just gonna grab a couple and take a fork to them and see if they're fork tender. And it looks like they are. So I'm gonna add the cream sauce to the potatoes. Even though the cream sauce is not completely thickened, the, the potatoes are, uh, I'm sorry, the potatoes water is hot. So once they mix together, I think it will help speed up the thickening of the cream sauce. So now is the time to season the soup. And I like using two tablespoons of the Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning, but it's not on my migraine plan or it's not migraine diet friendly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of Weber's seasoning and then you probably wanna put some in a little cup and test out the seasoning to see if it's to your liking. So what I usually do to test the seasoning out is I get a little custard dish and I put just a tad in it to let it cool off to see how the seasonings taste. The salt and everything is really good, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of herbs to Provence, which is one of the things I do like adding to this, especially since I can't add my Kinder's. So I'm gonna add about that much and see if it helps break the flavor some. So continue to let your soup simmer. As you can see, the steam is rising off the soup and that means it's continuing to thicken up until it's as thick as you'd like. And once it's there, then you can add your clams and serve right away. The longer the clams sit in the uh, soup, the more they toughen up. Adding the clams right now. Oh, wow, this is a really, really thick soup, as you can see. And I'm going to dish it up and show you how the finished soup looks.